Over the last month, our David Hammer investigation on real estate found several people who alleged the same man took their houses right out from under them. Tonight, David looks at claims that Jonathan Burden had some help from a local realtor. As we reported last month, Jonathan Burden often brags about his big real estate deals on Instagram. They offered you a million and one, mm -hmm. and they ain't gonna be able to perform. I understand all of that. I'm gonna offer you 700,000 and I'm gonna perform. Burden defended his aggressive door knocking tactics on the Note Closers show podcast in 2019. We're not taking advantage of anybody, you know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, we're here to help and provide, you know, good help because if not, you know, they'll drown it. They're going to lose the property or whatever the case may be. Here's the process Burden himself laid out on that podcast. He finds properties facing foreclosure or tax sale. He goes and knocks on the door and tells the owners he can help them save their home if they pay him instead. Then he has them sign some documents. He calls it collateral in case they don't pay him. But several owners allege in court Bernard did nothing in exchange for their payments and tricked them into signing documents that actually turned their properties over to him. Clarence Roby is a lawyer representing one of those owners. It wasn't about saving the property or, or helping maintain the mortgage or getting the mortgage reinstated. It was about taking the property. Roby's client, Derek Dooley, alleges in a lawsuit that Burden and a realtor named Angel Schulterbrand tricked him into simply handing them his Gentilly home. Court documents show Burden and Schulterbrand promised to pay off Wells Fargo to save Dooley's house from foreclosure. Receipts show Dooley paid them more than $11,000. That they were supposed to be applying to his debt, they kept it. They, they didn't apply one dollar. And who were the witnesses for this supposed loan? The court records say it was Galaxy Note 9 and Galaxy Note 9. Why not just say Mickey Mouse? Because that's just how brazen they are. On the Note Closers Show podcast, Burden talked about Angel Schultebrand. He said he had her knock on doors so homeowners wouldn't be intimidated. And he said she found the distressed properties for them to visit. She'll put a list together for us. We might put together like five, ten properties, and, and we'll we'll run through those. Like at first, Burden said, Shoulderbrand was upset by what they were doing. My little student, she wasn't, you know, Angel. She wasn't prepared for it. You know, I'm talking about she she would break down and cry like as soon as we leave about the door. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, you're gonna you're gonna learn, you know, get your skin a little bit tougher, you know. But you know, we're here to help. That's the good thing. Court documents show Schulterbrandt collected payments from Dooley and from another homeowner who's also suing her, Burden, and another woman, claiming they tricked her into signing over her property. Burden has not responded to repeated calls, texts, or messages we left with his attorneys. But Schulterbrandt issued this statement through her family's lawyer. At this time, we would reserve comment on these defaming and misleading comments considering the pending litigation. The statement went on, Angel maintains that she is not and has not been associated with Mr. Burden for several years and is free from any wrongdoing and or misappropriations as will be shown in a court of law. But Roby says the case he filed for Dooley back in 2019 is stuck because Burden hasn't shown up in court and keeps changing lawyers. In the meantime, Roby and others want state and federal law enforcement to get involved. I think you spelled out in great detail the fraudulent scheme. At this point, there's no reason why these people should not at least be charged and, and, and let them have their day in criminal court. He also hopes the legislature does something to make it harder to file property yeah, deeds yeah, that yeah, haven't yeah, been verified yeah, by a yeah, title yeah. company. At this point, the clerk's office must accept any original documents filed by anyone, as is, and can't remove it without a court order. So somebody has to make a stopgap measure? I would hope so, and yeah. soon. After our first story on Burden aired last month, the New Orleans Police Department confirmed an investigation. And now we're hearing from several sources that the FBI is conducting interviews and requesting business records all related to Burden. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Angel Schulterbrand has been a licensed real estate agent since 2017 and a licensed broker since 2021. The Louisiana Real Estate Commission says it has never had a complaint or investigation against her. Complaints can be filed at LREC.
www.gov.